pirated download version of this movie has weird German subheadings on the logos. Also, logos. German title is apparently, Kill What You Can't Get, which is equally as stupid as Girl House. This inexcusable typo in the opening credits sequence. There are choices for over or under 18, but what if you are exactly 18? Sinning this douchebag on principle. This porno buffering like it's 1997 hits teenage me right in the feels. Loading in her face. Wait what? If you're going to cam from your living room, at least pick up your dirty clothes. I've seen higher resolution porno on my friend's dad's VHS tapes from 1989. I've seen more stimulating visuals in the Fred Meyer circular in the Sunday newspaper. It took two directors to shit out this masterpiece. Reading. Movie opens with this Ted Bundy quote. Why are they insinuating that porn causes men to commit violence? Because it does not. Many women watch porn too. Are they prone to violence as a result as well? Even if you gave this claim the benefit of doubt, it's still anecdotal. What if this quote used religion in place of porn? By this logic the argument that religion causes men to commit violence would have to hold true as well. In any case, Bundy is not one from whom you should impart wisdom, as he was a natural born liar and manipulator, and was also insane. Discount Forrest Gump. Got you now. Something about this little girl's face is inherently unnerving. This girl was born to be a bully. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Movie that admonishes porn proceeds to sexualize children. <laughs> That's it? Looks like an acorn. <laughs> acorn shaming. Come back, lover boy. There is no context for her calling him lover boy. So I must conclude that the filmmakers assumed their audience is too stupid to realize that the fat creepy nerd character introduced later on, who uses the screen name Loverboy, is the same person. <laughs> Movie tries to build suspense with a hearing a strange sound from the woods cliche, because the fat kid with a stick reveal is just not as powerful on its own. No! No, please! <laughs> Disproportionate rage movie makes it quite clear that in this case, bullying is the catalyst for this violent act, not porn. Further evidence that the Bundy quote, and the movie's reliance on it, are bullshit. This fake movie messaging program. Why is everything brown in this shot? I guess nothing sets the mood for a sexy striptease like the color of poo. That bra though. I guess brown is the new pink. This open document discusses aircraft engines and the principles of flight, and yet based on these desktop folders such as modern social and Russian lit. She does not appear to be studying engineering. What the hell is exercise science? Honey, this here is some grade A prime rib. Yeah? Well it's no bag of cheese puffs. Text messaging back and forth from down the hall like true millennials. You've been over this. I don't have a choice. Actually, you have lots of choices, especially as a suburban middle class white girl. Don't act like your choice to start webcamming is like being sold into sexual slavery. I'm inclined to sin the roommate for barging in like an asshole. But then Kylie did not lock her door while getting naked. Yet more importantly I'm totally in awe of that expert level cheese puff bag roll. And close the door and buck naked. Well, you better get used to it, it is your new business attire. This shitty expositional dialogue. There are other ways a gal can earn cash besides flashing her vertical smile all over cyberspace. Vertical smile. Hey, look, it's not prostitution or even stripping. It is literally stripping. Yeah, but it's porn, Kylie. Stripping does not equal porn. What are you, Mormon? No subtlety here. Metal and glass. That's all. More like plastic and the broken dreams of Malaysian schoolchildren who assemble name brand laptops for 10 cents a day and no bathroom breaks. Have fun with your little nudie site. You jelly? This Jesus-y crap on the wall. Kylie's laptop is not an Apple computer, but it's somehow running Mac OS. This is a completely different document than before, something about essay composition. Not at all to do with aerospace engineering nor organic chemistry. Getting picked up in a limousine as if you're someone special, and not a dime a dozen cam girl. Obviously empty suitcases are obviously empty. The fact is, I'm one of the fastest rising entrepreneurs in America. I'll bet he compares himself to Hugh Hefner. I'm the Hugh Hefner for the 21st century. Ding. Um, about the pay, can I really expect to make as much as you said? Isn't that something you should negotiate before accepting a job and moving out of your dorm? How do I make sure one of these guys doesn't end up stalking me? Girl house can never be tracked or hacked. Roll credits. How much of that is required? Porn site mogul hires cam girl for his cam site who is timid about masturbating on cam. I could see you were someone special. I knew you had what it takes to be a hit. 
bro you haven't even seen her naked yet. And your whole business is naked girls. Those suitcases are still frigging empty. Still empty. Shit, Gary! Didn't say you were coming by? Uh, that's Cat. She's... Well, she's Cat. Does that mean she's a bitch? Cat appears 30 seconds later with complete makeup, hair, and clothes. Proving this movie gives zero fucks about continuity. This is Kylie, our new roommate. <laughs> a little on the wholesome side. Hey, Karen? This chick would be excellent at cinema sins. That's Janet. She's doing a chat right now, probably with a bunch of millionaire execs. She's big with the Fortune 500 crowd. 1. If she's actually busy with important clients, why the hell did you interrupt her? 2. If these viewers are actually Fortune 500 CEOs or whatever, discussing this openly seems like a breach of privacy to me. 3. Most rich and powerful businessmen are decidedly not going to waste their time in a chat room with a bunch of horny guys, not when they could have a discreet high-priced cool girl delivered to their penthouse or whatever. 4. Anyone can claim to be a millionaire exec, and let's face it, when given the anonymity of the internet, most guys are going to exaggerate themselves when trying to impress a hot cam girl. Okay boys, you wanna see my spreadsheet? 1. You. No. 2. This horrible writing. Just wow. 3. If these guys are really businessmen, they are probably logging onto a site like this as an escape from office life. Do they really want to think about spreadsheets while fapping? That's like if your girlfriend were a barista, and you tried to get her in the mood by talking about caramel macchiatos. Here it is. New girl always gets a third floor. Third floor? This house only has two stories. It's perfect. As if you have a choice. I can't wait to see what she does with that horsey ride. Movie tries to do an artsy 360 shot around the table, then gives up halfway through. These Chinese food takeout containers are labeled Chinese food. Why are they eating takeout anyway? Shouldn't Girl House employ a full-time chef? This montage of the girls of Girl House watching Girl House is so meta. Movie expects us to believe that Girl House employs an entire team of systems engineers who work around the clock from this top-secret underground futuristic computer lair. These fake movie servers. I don't know, Gare. It's a little junior high to me. That's creepy. Calling a guy named Gary, Gare. You seriously chose this song to strip to? It's not sexy at all. Needs more. Oons, oons, oons. Cream Slinger. Here we go, gang. Kylie is finally about to reveal her boobs for the first time. And everyone acts like this is some historic event. I mean, have you people never seen boobs before? Girl House is full of them. Kylie is attractive but there is nothing that remarkable about her appearance or her boobs. Honey you might be a Topeka 10, but you're a Girl House 7. That's racist. These douchey programmers. When it came time to cast the role of Loverboy, the producers said, we need a brain-dead slack George Yokel, devoid of any personality. How about that douchebag rapper, Slane? Those look shocked. She's not only right around the corner, she is gettable. Gettable? Why? Because she's doing porn? It's not porn. <laughs> Dude, it's got self-esteem issues written all over no, it. That's sexist. Why don't you drop some fertilizer get down those <laughs> drawers and grow your little apple seeds into Granny Smith's and go get her? This ginger is so obviously gay for his roommate I can practically see him starting a towel snapping fight in the shower. Girl House can afford to install a dedicated security booth on the property but hires a guy who falls asleep at his post. Security access code is conveniently displayed in plain view on the security monitor. Perfect. You scared the crap out of me! What an asshole. Gary, if you're watching... I swear I'll be good from now on. Gary is watching this nonsense but somehow missed the security breach at the front gates five minutes ago. Gare bangs dudes that look exactly like himself. This shit happens. What are you doing here? Do you go to Salvi? No, I don't actually. Stalker's gonna stalk. Were you in Topeka this summer? I didn't get out much. My dad died. Well, it's good hey, to do you wanna, sorry, do you want me to go for coffee sometime? Sorry about your dad but can we stay focused on my penis please? Just like Kylie, Loverboy uses what is definitely not an Apple computer yet is somehow running Mac OS. In fact, both computers have identical program docs, not only pinned to the left side of the screen but include the same programs in the same order. His even shows a battery meter which would only appear on a laptop. It seems they used one computer to record all of these scenes and thought that by changing the wallpaper we wouldn't notice, and that's a sin. Hey Loverboy, low self-esteem is not an attractive quality. 
Programming is spelled with two M's. A programmer would know that. Sorry, lover boy. Can we pick this up another time? Cam girl Kylie brushes off paying customer in a private show to go meet up with her date IRL. This seems like bad business to me, and should be against girl house policy. Lover boy is able to hack girl house chat system with only a few mouse clicks. Lover boy hacks Kylie's stream in order to upload this picture. This picture. What the hell, man? How did you do that? Gary said this place was impossible to hack. I'm sure Gary said lots of things, but don't bother reporting this or anything. Who else do you keep in touch with from home? Oh, just my close friends. You know, my homies. My bros, my crew, my latently gay roommate. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This chick snoops around Kylie's room even though there's a camera there. Kylie leaves her laptop unlocked. Bad for security, but good for the plot. Kylie also left this frightening lover boy selfie open on her computer. Good for the plot, bad for your nightmares. You are straight, aren't you? Oh the irony. You wanna keep this thing going then trust me. Do not tell her. Trust me bro, I know how chicks think. I think you're doing that wrong. Creep is gonna creep. It's not like that at all, I don't understand. You're right, you don't understand. Then help me. Skip. These nuts. I said I don't know where she is. You really are a pathetic freak. Not sure why Girl House does not have chat room moderators, but even so, publicly insulting your customers seems like a thing that should not be allowed. I, I'm just curious, how did you come up with that handle, lover boy? You must be quite the ladies man. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you should have gone with a loser boy. Again. Not openly disrespecting clients is something that should be covered during orientation. Enhance. Good thing he didn't send a dick pic. Well shit, you're all going to die now. Hacker rage mode enabled. When the hell did Kylie get a desktop computer? Yet another Windows PC running Mac OS. That's not how hacking works. Kylie does not report this security breach either. How does this shit not get detected by the programmers? I guess they're too busy high-fiving, driving sports cars, and getting laid, to actually do their job. This guy is seen going into a side door of this house, then down the stairs of this huge room which is definitely not inside a house, then through this door into a hallway which somehow has sunlight streaming through the windows even though it is underground. Then is ambushed by Loverboy behind a door that also shows sunlight streaming through, but it's actually a windowless room that is filled with creepy fog, for no reason. Slash a movie finally delivers its first kill, 55 minutes into the running time. Loverboy is not only a ladies man and elite hacker, but also a stealthy assassin, infiltrating the secret girl house tech lair and slaughtering the entire team. Discount Leatherface. Leatherboy overpowers this dude. This chick shoots up in a house full of cameras and without locking the door. Homie, you're really starting to piss me off, man. There's no way this fat bastard can move that fast. This would either make a powerful anti-drug PSA, or a testimonial to the durability of this brand of surgical tubing. Where have we seen this before? Mac OS computer randomly running Windows programs. This says it's 10.54 AM but it's dark outside. That's racist. <laughs> Death by dildo. Hacker typing. This shit happens. Even with the controls broken, I find it hard to believe that a sauna would become hot enough to sear your flesh. This chick hilariously breathes through a tiny hole in the window, even though it was just shown that the glass was too hot for her to touch with her hand. Sauna chick escapes and jumps into the pool naked because horror movies got to have boobs. Marco. Polo. This looks familiar. Oh fuck it. Kylie, we have to get out of here. You go. Call the cops. Okay. Horror movie logic dictates that when the killer is knocked unconscious you should leave him unattended and also split up. Hey look it's sleepy. You're telling me this guy didn't get fired? Worst security guard ever. Yeah, I got it. I'm kidding. Where? Don't snap your fingers at me, you dick. I wasn't able to hack in the girl house at all, so I tried their ISP instead. I got into the Centura cast grid for Davidson County and found this secluded mansion out in the sticks with a huge bandwidth trail going there. This guy couldn't hack girl house, but casually hacks an ISP. Hurry, dude. She's the only one left. Final girl cliche. 
Why are the girl house primary AV feeds and admin console just sitting here on this unsecured terminal in the friggin' boiler room? Because fuck you, that's why. What's with this huge electrical furnace dungeon room thing anyway? Girl house is a mansion, but it's still a house. All the fake movie servers are off-site, so they don't need extreme power or cooling. This room only exists because they thought it would look cool when a slasher is stalking his prey, but it's still cliche. Kylie can actually see where Leatherboy is, but instead of trying to escape, she does some shit with these cables and this camera and tries to lure him into a trap or some shit. Meh, who cares? Movie's almost over. I mean, you could have just escaped. What the hell she doing? That's what I'd like to know. Discount Silence of the Lambs Night Vision Showdown Scene. Silence of the Cams? <laughs> I am never going to another porn site again. It's not porn. Slain. Yeah, but it's porn, Kylie.